Happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. Oh my goodness. So I have got a fun fold for you today that looks really difficult, but it is so easy to make. I cannot wait to share this with you. Okay, so um, before, we, oh, and all the measurements will be on my blog. Actually, I've already uh, typed up the blog post. I just have to upload this video to it and it'll be ready to go. So as soon as we're done here, in just a few minutes afterwards, you'll be able to get all of the measurements. Okay, for those of you who have just found me for the first time, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. Now, I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to bring you card tutorials. I love sharing um, art design skills and tips and shortcuts and all kinds of fun things to improve your card making. All right. Oh, before we get started, though, let me flip this over. Before we get started, though, don't forget, we only have six days left with this catalog, okay? So if you have uh, got your, if you didn't put in your order yesterday for free shipping, you've still got some stuff you want to order, uh, this is going to expire on the last day of June. And there are so many cute things in here. Oh my gosh. Um, I wish I could afford it all, but you know, you have to kind of decide what, what you want because we're going to be having a holiday catalog coming out in August. <laughs> so one catalog right after the other. I love it. Hey, good morning, everyone. I love seeing y'all here bright and early with me. All right. Like I said, we are going to be making a very fun pinwheel tower card. Look at this thing. Isn't this cool? All right, and it looks kind of complicated, doesn't it? But it is so easy, so easy. Oh, uh, one more thing, and I, I haven't looked here if Mima's here with us this morning. I know she lives on the West Coast, so it's quite early for her right now. But um, you all keep her in your thoughts and prayers. She is having some real difficult time with her heart and uh, her breathing. Um, she keeps having to go back to the doctors, and she just really needs our prayer. And just know that we are thinking about her, and we love her so much because she is such a wonderful person, a part of our community here in the uh, crafting world. So just a little shout out there for Mima. And her real name is Karen, by the way. Her grandchildren call her Mima. <laughs> so, all right. So this card tutorial, this uh, pinwheel tower, the base is very simple. Okay. All you need is this for your base. Now let me zoom in just, well, I can't really zoom in any more than that. But let me tell you, this piece here is five and three quarters inch by four and a quarter. Now remember, this is all on my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. Let me pull that down so it's not in the way. And then once you have this cut, then you're going to score every three quarter inch. So three quarter, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three inches. And once you've got that scored, Okay, we'll put it together in just a sec, but you'll also want these three panels. So this is the fourth panel here of the pinwheel. These are the other three sides of the pinwheel. And these are cut at two and three quarters by four and a quarter. All right. Also, oh, and I forgot to tell you, this card fits in a regular sized envelope. I wanted to show you all that. So it folds flat like this, and it just tucks right inside and there you go. So how cool is that? A really fun, fun fold that goes in an envelope. So let me get this out of the way. Dun, da, da, dun. You know, one of my favorite things about being a demonstrator is getting to show you all how to make these cards. I This is just so much fun. And I love all of y'all's comments too. It's so great. So we're going to need some supplies. I'm going to be using this paper pack. If you all have not seen this one, this is the Pretty as a Peach. It goes with the Peach Sweet. Now, I'm not going to use the stamp or dies that go with it. I'm just using the paper here. But look how beautiful all this floral is. And then not only that, you can use it with other card papers. So this uh, stripe polka dot... Look at this fun, just kind of wash like look, these polka dots, these stripes, really beautiful paper. So if you're looking for um, more paper, here's another idea for you. All right, so we're using that paper. And what else are we using? I'm gonna use the these two stamp sets. I needed a stamp that uh, fit in a vertical rectangle. And I liked this one. Friendship is found in simple things. And this is from Enjoy the Moment stamp set. And then I also needed some flowers that were similar to these flowers here. Um, like I said, I don't have, I, 
I, I can't afford everything. I loved the paper, but I just, I couldn't afford the stamp set and dies that went with this, but that's okay because I have this flower right here that goes with the sweet strawberry. Um, and so I'm using this flower stamp here instead. Okay, so that's what I'm using. And then the dies I'm using, I love this set. If you all have not purchased this, this is an excellent uh, die set to have in your stash. Has all these beautiful layered rectangles and then these fun shapes and they're all stitched. So that's really cool. So we're using that. Um, you're going to need liquid glue, uh, Calypso coral cardstock, white cardstock, and also some ribbon. All right, so we're gonna use all those supplies. Here we go. First step is to cut and score all that paper. So pull out my scoring tool here. Here is my five and three quarters, five and three quarters, not five and a half. This is five and three quarters. So you're gonna, it's a little longer than a quarter of a sheet of paper. And we're gonna score every three quarter inch. All right, so there's three, whoops, we don't want the blade in the way. There's the three quarters and then one and a half, okay, and then two and a quarter, and then three, okay? So we've made four little three quarter inch sections. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can't really see it on here, and that's why I uh, used my pen and I did the dash marks for you. So that's what I've done so far. Next thing is, let's get this out of the way, we need to uh, fold on the score marks, okay? So you're just gonna fold and fold and fold, all right? And what this does is it creates, whoops, I missed a fold. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> there. It creates this little center to our pinwheel. Let me get that to where you can see it. There we go. My, I always forget that my, my hands go backwards from what you all see. And so when I'm watching what you see, I kind of get confused. Anyways, so it goes like this and we're going to put some liquid glue right here and glue this part together, okay? So, um, and the reason I like liquid glue is because it um, can slide around a little bit before it seals. Whoa, that came out fast. Yikes, I have a lot of glue there, all right. Francine just said 10 a.m. Yes, Fran and I are gonna go get our nails done. We have a scrapbook weekend coming up. I'm so excited. I haven't worked on my scrapbooks since the last scrapbook weekend. <laughs> I make cards so much, I never have time to make my scrapbooks and I gotta get them done. Cause you know, I have eight grandchildren. I can't keep up with my scrapbooking. <laughs> oh, and well, no, I'm sorry, I'm sworn to secrecy. Uh, my, my niece, but anyways, that, that's another story. Okay, sworn to secrecy, I'm on public live. Ugh, get off of there. Okay, the other thing about liquid glue, you guys, y'all are gonna want to keep hand wipes uh, next to you when you're working on a craft table. Inevitably, I get glue on my fingers, ink on my fingers, everything. There we go. All right, let's get that glue off my fingers. There we go. And the glue is coming out of the glue bottle. There we go. Now, got this part. What's our next part? Very simple. See how easy this was so far? Now we just put these panels on there. All right, so, well, I closed up my glue and I, I still need it, all right? So then we're just gonna put the panels on each side of this tower, okay? So there's one. And then two. And then three. And da-da, we have a pinwheel tower. I'm telling you, this is such a fun, fun fold. And the other thing about it is it does fold flat, so Kind of do that and get them all. Whoops, that one's twisted on me. Yikes, uh-oh. Come on, get back in place. You're not supposed to twist on me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, and now we're going to decorate this now. All right, you ready? Here we go. So I've created the pinwheel tower. 
to decorate this, I'm gonna cut up my designer series paper. And let me get that out. And what I've done is I have uh, cut these out in um, pairs so that they match up on the panels. So the first one I did was the green with the flowers, okay? This one is cut at two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Is that right? Yep. And this one is cut at two. So two and three quarters and two. Both of them are four and a quarter. Everything is four and a quarter long because they go on the pinwheel. All right, so that's my first panel. My next one is this one here with the little tiny peaches and the big peaches. And then this cute one, the stripes and the flowers. All right, so we have these panels here. We only have three, okay? The fourth one, we're gonna keep some white on it so we can write a message, okay? So we just have these three panels. Let's quickly um, adhere these. And I'm just gonna use the tape runner to put these on. And I am looking for my example so I don't get this all confused the way I want it. All right, the first one I'm gonna do is the green with the flowers here. And so we're just going to put some adhesive on there. Oops, there we go. Okay, and then on this piece, let's get back up in the film, up in the camera. All right. Oops. go and then we're gonna fold it this way and do the next one and that's these little peaches here in this piece okay whoops I want to put it on upside down. Okay. Got that one on there. All right, here we go. Next one is with the stripes. I mean, isn't this paper just gorgeous? Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys, <gasps> July 1st, so in six days, we're having a paper sale. Oh, I'm so excited. And if you're on the team, if you know, you're uh, part of Reese's Paper Pieces and you're already getting your discount, you get to have the paper sale on top of your discount. That's one of the best reasons to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is to uh, double dip on sales. So uh, the paper's gonna be on sale for 15% off. So if you are a demonstrator, you get the 20 plus the 15, that's 35% off, that's pretty excited. And when you advance in rank um, and get up to 25% off discount, that gives you 35, I mean 40% off. <laughs> so I'm gonna get 40% off my paper. I'm excited about that. All right, so now we have this beautiful paper on here, okay? And then this side's white so that we can write on it. Um, before we mess with this side though, I want to put a ribbon here, and the ribbon's going to show on this side, but I'm going to cover it up with a piece of white cardstock. Um, I pulled out the pool party ribbon. It, um, you can see the cute little blue flowers there, and of course the blue stripes here, okay? Now, even though this is uh, balmy blue, the pool party is sheer, and it, it matches just fine. And I just really only need about 13 inches. I'm just tying a knot. I'm not doing a bow. You need to be careful with the thickness of this card if you're going to mail it because it's already this thick uh, with all these layers of panels, okay? So you're, you don't have much more thickness to go because you can only have a quarter inch thickness when uh, your card goes through the mail or they will charge you extra, all right? And remember, uh, if you don't have someone to hold that for you while you're tying, you get yourself clamping tweezers there and just put that right there. 
and just tie it like you would a regular knot. And, whoops, come on. Oh, my pinky is not cooperating. Come on. My hands are shaking a little bit this morning. Ooh. There we go. All right. Yay. And then trim it off a little bit. I cut it at 13 because it's easier to manipulate the ribbon and then trim down the ends. Ooh, I really am shaking. Ugh. Okay, got that. Now, back to this side. Okay, see how the ribbon's showing? We want room to write here, okay? So we're gonna cover this with white. But before we do that, we are gonna decorate it a little bit. Um, we're gonna take a three quarter inch piece of the Calypso Coral cardstock here. Um, and I just obviously picked this color because it goes with the designer paper. I can't wait to see what you all create with this. Um, I, all the different kind of uh, designer papers that you can use to make this card. Come on, there we go. And we're just gonna line that up on the edge. Okay. And now here, this piece is cut at two inches and four and a quarter, and it's gonna go right on top there, all right? Now I put this one down first because this one's gonna overlap it just a wee bit. put some in the middle. There we go. And, and the other, uh, I use the sheer ribbon. It's really thin. Um, if you use a thicker ribbon, it's going to leave a bump there. So um, think about which ribbon you're using. Okay. So now we have this nice piece. All right. And we have that cute bow there. All right. What are we going to do next? The next thing is, um, we're gonna decorate it. All right, so this is how I decorated mine. Um, on the white page, now remember what I said, I don't own the uh, Sweet as a Peach or whatever the name of it is, but the designer paper has, um, let me show you the paper here, it has these big peaches that you can cut out. Okay, it has it with the white background and it has it with the blue background. Lots of peaches to uh, cut out by hand, so that's what I did. I've got um, a few peaches here. Here's a big one and a little one. I'm not sure what I've got here. Got all kinds of peaches here and leaves. All right. And I think what I'm going to do is take the two smaller ones here. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. And I think I'm going to add these extra leaves too. No. Mm, let's see. Let's switch this out. There we go. Two little peaches. I can't remember what I did. Okay, well, if I just look at it, I can see. <laughs> I, did a, I did the big peach and the little peach. So we're going to do this big peach here. And that's just going to go right there. And I just, I'm going to get my uh, silicone mat. I keep running my tape runner past the paper and it's getting on my work surface. All right, so see that way when it does it, it's no big deal because it won't stick to the silicone mat. Okay, and then you can, if it goes past the paper, you can just kind of bend it back over there. All right, so, and I am going to put that there, and I'm going to have it hang off a little bit. Um, I'll trim that in just a minute. Okay, and then this peach is going to go right there. And then take this littler peach. Let's see, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that side's decorated. Oh, I keep getting out of the, the filming area. Anyways, <laughs> there you go. So you got that side, that's done. The rest of it is for writing. This page here, however, I am going to take um, the So Sweetly Stitched rectangles here and the Calypso Coral one, I'm gonna just put evenly in here. Don't you just love how the colors all just make the card just come together? It's just so, so uniform. Whoops, I can see where I forgot to trim that little piece off. There we go. All right, now let's stamp this. And I have my Calypso Coral ink, just all matches.
<laughs> Barbara Drake says, I might have to look into it. Christmas is only 182 days away. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure what we're talking about, but <laughs> I have to go back and look at that. Okay, friendship is found in simple things like sending a birthday card. <laughs> So there's that. Now let's make these flowers. And I pulled the pool party out um, because I have the pool party ribbon there. Um, it, like I said, you can use the balmy blue or the um, I'm stuck pool party. <laughs> Each, either one. But this is the uh, smoky slate for my outline. Okay, so I have one flower here and one flower here, and I just stuck my finger in the balmy blue. This is why you need one of these moist towelettes on your table. <laughs> and then one down here. Okay, there we go. Did I get, I stuck that in the balmy blue, but that's okay. We're just, we're just gonna go with it. because. <laughs> because we just are. All right, now, excuse my head while I lean over so I can see where I'm stamping. I love photopolymer stamps for this reason. You can see right through them. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to go back over this one with the gray. There we go. All right, looks pretty. Almost done. Just a little bit more. Okay, that goes there. So that panel is done. Turn the page. And I also like how this is kind of like a little book too. All right, this is for my happy birthday. All right, and um, I did this in the Calypso Coral also. go and tape that on there and then just tape it on here so this is kind of simple happy birthday and this, um, I didn't have any more sentiments I wanted to use, but I, it needs something, so I cut out some more peaches. There we go. Um, so we have this nice big peach here. So if you ever get to where, you know, you just, you need some more something, and you don't have all of the pieces that go with whatever you're working with, you can create pieces like this. Um, by just cutting, fussy cutting. All right, now let me see how, that, how I did this. I did this way up here. Yep, and then this one just went right there. So it was real simple. I just stuck these peaches on here. Man, this is gonna want me to have a peach cobbler for lunch today. <laughs> there we go, how pretty is that? And trim this, and we're done. We are done. Now, you guys, don't forget, today is the last day. Nope, today's not the last day of anything. Uh, June is the last uh, day. So we only have six days left till the January through June catalog is available. So if you need still anything from that, get on and get that. Uh, we still have my host code. Let me pull that up for you. So there's the June host code. Remember, if you purchase $50 before tax, I will send you a nice thank you gift at the end of the month. And that's it, you guys. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Have fun. I can't wait to see what you all create. Don't forget to uh, take a picture of it and put it on the Creating with Christina Facebook page so we can all see your beautiful work. And like I said, this looks so complicated, but it is so easy. So easy. All right. <laughs> Bye, you guys.